Hey, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there, in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean... River's we... right up ahead. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I have no idea. Someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Are you sure about that? Doesn't look like it to me. Maybe we need to start thinking about a plan B. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. Something like this. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. You got a quarter on you? 
Don't have a lot of use for small change these days. Maybe you can find one on the street somewhere. city has been boarded up for all the good it did. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Military tags, but what do they mean? What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. creep across it when the city started to fall. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Why the hell? 
hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well it seems to have a way of finding us anyways. Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, and take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! <laughs> no, he's with us! How are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. 
that's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please! <sighs> Come on, make it fast! Here, use that to pry it open. 